Hi, I'm Cheryl Phillips from Shelby, Ohio. Uh, we just got done here in Tammy's speech here at the B. Very motivating. America and made does matter to us as well as our customers. Can't wait to get home to share the opportunity. Do the same, and I wish you all could be here. already how about those bees <laughs> they've been practicing for a month so thank you for applauding them have you all had a great summer yeah it's been fun we've sure been busy out at the homestead and it's great to have so many of you here with us the next few days we've had some wonderful events that some of you have been at at the homestead what about the collector club gathering who was there fourth of july fireworks some and terrific Tuesdays. You and your customers have made them truly terrific. And of course, you saw, I don't know if some of you have seen some of the pictures from uh, Pink Week. You, you all nominated some of your friends to come to the luncheon and the 5K run and walk race. And what about that bike race? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's, we've been having a lot of fun there. We also are thrilled to have so many of you here with us um, here for the next few days. I have some special guests and uh, family and friends here I want to say hello to. Um, first of all, where's my Aunt Wendy and Aunt Lynn and Uncle Gary? Are you here over here somewhere? Can I get a light on them, please? Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Thanks for being here. Rachel's here as well. Rachel's here as well, and uh, she's back getting ready. But I also want to introduce you to Rachel, one of our newest interns, uh, Rachel's son, Dustin. Do we have a picture of Dustin someplace? That's Rachel's oldest son, Dustin. Dustin interned for us this summer in the accounting department, and that's a picture of me introducing him to some of, at our employee meeting last week. So uh, we're trying to get that next generation in in gear. We also have with us today some of our business partners, our suppliers and vendors. Um, uh, one of our banks uh, sent their female representative, which we love you, Sue. Thank you for all you do. Also, uh, my kids, Matt and Claire, uh, send their very best. Matt is in the great state of Virginia at a golf tournament right now. So we wish him well. Um, Claire is a sophomore uh, at Ohio State. She's going to summer classes. So I told her not to skip class in order to come here, that she'd have plenty of years uh, to get done what she needs to get done here. But uh, they're growing up. It's uh, amazing. This time next year, I will be an empty nester. So I can have more time on my hands to spend with all of you. But I need a little help. I've got to try to figure out what to do with that big house of mine. So maybe I'll turn it into an inn and we can all have sleepovers or something. How's that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Send your ideas in. Some of you have asked me, oh, can we have weddings here? We'll see. We're all family, right? <laughs> well, it's been fun keeping in touch with all of you, too, via uh, Facebook. How many of you are on Facebook? Um, that, that has been really, really fun. Um, my travels as well, I've seen you, but uh, Facebook has been interesting. We've been posting pictures from all of us already at the B, and I meant to bring my cell phone out here because I, I got some uh, responses back already that say, oh, I wish I could be there, I want to be at the B, or I'm at the second B. So I'm going to keep posting those pictures, and let me just say to all of you the, uh, a big, big thank you for adding me as your friend, because I had better luck with all of you than I did my son. <laughs> I've seen a lot of change, as have you, over the past 34 years, uh, particularly business in general, but none more so than what we've all seen and experienced in the last couple of years. And that's what I really want to talk about today. You know, one lesson that I've learned in business over the past 34 years about business, 
but probably more importantly about people, is if you want to find out what's going on, or sometimes what's not going on, you've got to go out where the action is. Now, since, I've, since the B last year, um, I've been on the road, and I've visited with many of you. Um, I've been to 66 cities. I have logged 52,525 frequent flyer miles <laughs> on 11 different airlines and 83 total tickets. I've talked to 21,442 guests, and so remember this the next few days. I've signed 19,430 baskets and a few other items I am embarrassed to tell you about. <laughs> now, uh, certainly uh, everyone knows that it's a tough economy, and, and that's why I'm, I'm going out, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, reaching out to you, to your customers, to so many collectors. And so in this tough economy, even though those numbers are, are pretty daunting, my plan is to double that number over the next year. So I'll be out to see you all. Think about how many companies you know of, and you've seen some of it in the news recently, that America is just not making anything anymore. We do. We do. You get through tough times by remembering who you are and digging deep. We've always been that way. There are people out there wanting to buy from an American company. They're wanting to be asked to join an American company. But I'll tell you what, they're no longer waiting for you to call. Here's what's clear to me. Our world's changed forever. The customer, our customer, has created new rules in which what she wants to buy, how she wants to buy it, when she wants to buy it. She rules the marketplace, she buys when she wants, and pretty much at what price. She decides who and where she wants to buy from. And if you're not taking care of her, she'll find someone else that will. She has a lot less time, and she is on the run 24-7. So here's the whole point of my speech to you today and my words to you. You must chase after your customers and sell to them, him or her, wherever they are. Our pledge to you, though, is that we will always continue to adapt to a changing world. That's how we keep moving. That's how we keep growing. That's how we keep um, uh, getting through the things that we are all needing to get through. So in conclusion, let me just say, Here's what I've learned out there with all of you, from all of you, with your customers. People who are chasing after their customers are, are growing their business. And you're going to see them walk across the stage today. People who are willing to try new things. Sometimes, dare I even say, let go of some of the things that they want so desperately to work again, but just aren't people who are telling our story, are creating new opportunities for every other sales consultant. That's what this business is all about and sharing with you. And that's why you've made such a wonderful investment in your business by coming here and listening and taking in those ideas. Um, and one thing I would ask you to do um, is if you have learned something from the bee, I ask you to take it back to another consultant who didn't have the opportunity to come. I've heard from thousands of people who said, I wish I could come and I just can't get there. If you can be a really good sister or brother in this business and, and share with them just one nugget that you've learned from this bee, you can make a difference in so many people's lives. And as always, um, let me just say, Made in America matters to us. We are willing to compete on quality with anyone in the world. It matters to me, it matters to you, and it certainly matters to America. God bless you all, and God bless America. Have a great bee. Thank you so much.